Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Design Adda. In this video, we will discuss the synthetic plastic material and the natural plastic material. So let's start the video. So let's discuss the natural plastic material first. Okay, so natural plastic materials are made from the renewable resources such as plants or animal byproduct. Okay, so these materials are biodegradable. Uh, it's meaning that uh, they can decompose naturally over the time okay and uh, so these natural plastic materials are eco-friendly okay but the natural plastic materials uh, uh, may not be that much durable uh, 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 compared to the synthetic uh, plastic materials and uh, also the natural plastic materials uh, have some limited uses only uh, the example of the natural plastic materials are uh, cellulose, uh, starch based plastic and the soya based plastic. Okay, the cellulose is made from the plant fiber and it is used in the paper, textile and the packaging. Okay, and the starch based plastics made from the corn or potatoes starch. Okay, and it is used in the disposable cutlery and the packaging. And uh, the soya based plastics are made from the soybean oil and used in the car parts and insulation and other use. Now let's uh, discuss about the synthetic plastic material. So the synthetic plastic material are man-made and are produced from the petrochemicals. Okay. So these uh, materials are created through a process called as polymerization. So already we have uploaded the videos uh, on polymerization. How the uh, polymers are made okay plastic materials are made okay so here the individual molecules means uh, uh, for the pol for creating the polymer all the molecules come together and form the polymer okay so poly means uh, many okay and many monomers come together and form the polymer okay uh, the resulting material can be molded into various shape and the form and making it versatile and widely used in the mini industry okay so this material is under the pressure and the temperature all the molecules come together and form the plastic material okay so we generally uh, this synthetic plastic material are the uh, man-made uh, plastic material uh, for, from some chemical reactions and the synthetic plastic materials are known for their durability strength and ability to withstand the uh, uh, withstand the forces and also withstand the environmental conditions and the example of synthetic plastic materials are uh, polyethylene polyvinyl chloride uh, polypropylene polystyrene there are number of plastic materials are there uh, and if you see the polyethylene used in the uh, plastic bags bottle and food packaging and polyvinyl chloride used in the pipes electric cable insulation and the flooring and the polystyrene used in the foam packaging disposable cups and the food container and the polypropylene used in the car parts uh, household appl uh, household appliances and the packaging purpose so friend uh, uh, the synthetic plastics are the man made plastics so we, some chemical reaction will happen and after that we will create more um, uh, different types of means uh, different types of monomer or the same type of monomer come together and form the polymer uh, plastic materials and after uh, in the natural plastic material natural plastic are, are the uh, naturally available and they are uh, renewable resources such as from the plants or the animal byproducts uh, we will get the natural plastic materials so friend that's it for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching see you in the next video